Hey guys, Eclipse 14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. Alright, so I'm standing in this weird little corner because I know the spell to get into the Finn Castle basement, which is our next destination. What we need to do is simply go to this very corner. I think you gotta turn right, press the A button, in which case, nothing there, and somehow you manage to get a command window, which is weird because that's not supposed to happen. Mention this. Ah, secret passage. Walk to the right, and you enter this floor, which there's nothing in here, just head down the stairs, and continue your way down. Eventually you come to this point, to which the stairs will take you down to the basement. Now, I also know of a couple hidden passages that I skipped last episode. There is one here that I need to skip this episode. The core reason for this is because of my inventory being like that. Yeah, not exactly the prettiest thing in the world. <laughs> um, don't worry, I'll clean some of this up eventually. But for right now, we're going to explore the basement. So head down here, and things change. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is head this direction and go this way for the first chest of the basement, which contains... Oh, okay. An odd thing about the castle basement is that just about every encounter is the same stuff, in which case you have the wraiths, revenants, ghasts, and stutters. If you're really, really lucky, you'll come across green souls. But for the most part, you'll face the same exact encounter for every floor of the dungeon. In this case, B1 features this trash pile, which may as well be nuked with a fire tome. Arrow's not gonna work. I'll just do that. In which case, uh... Uh, no, these things, I'm pretty sure undead resist matter, so it doesn't make a difference. I'm gonna cast fire. As for Guy, he's got a bolt tome. Uh, let's, let's just use it. And you have an Ice Tome, which doesn't work on all dead. Just attack or grab it. So this will at least power up Fire for Maria, which will work out nicely. And really, not, not many of the enemies aren't that scary. So, don't worry about it too much. I'll just use these spells, just try to drain my inventory mostly. And we should be good. Yeah, bolts normal damage, but you know what? Uh, at least get it out of the way, because I'm pretty sure none of the enemies here are weak to lightning. So, the sooner that goes down, the better. Same thing with arrow tear, now that I think about it. Let's go ahead and just dump that, too. Uh, because I don't need to use arrow on Lila. Uh, fire five, let's do this right now. Guy, I'll just, uh, attack and attack. I may as well use them. I mean, they kind of work, I guess. Oh, well then. <laughs> Whoops. There goes Guy's target. Oh, wait, I made him target the Wraith. Well, I didn't see that coming. Alright, I'll just attack here, because there's not much else I can do. Actually, I should have just, um... Fire 5 anyway. I should check my magic though, because I am, uh. Pretty sure Guy hit Ice 6. Yeah, he's at 6. I know Furion's at Bolt 6. Maria's still at 5, but how close? 84. Also 82 on Ice. How about that? Anyway, this chest contains a basic knife. Well, how about them memes? Alright, let me go ahead and re-equip stuff, in which case I will put up a break tome, may as well just do that. Um, I could actually let somebody learn the aura tome, just for fun stuff. Um, yeah, let somebody learn it, even though it's outclassed by Berserk, I can have some fun with it. I'll let Guy have it. Also, the potion, anybody? Nope, it's not really usable right now. 
I'll just equip more stuff. Yeah, run that break tome for good memes. Earth drum. I will give you a Toto. Because why not? Layla still has that ice toe, which just, it doesn't really work with this floor. So at least have some space in the inventory. The door you see right there is a trap room, so don't worry about it. And more, okay, same stuff. Um, it's all matter elemental, so I'm just going to stick with it for now. Until I get to the next floor. Fire five. Should work out. Actually, if I have plenty of time and still enough space, I can use, um, I can just walk back up and clean up my inventory and get some of the remaining treasure stuff. Because all I really need to do is just go downstairs, and that's about it, because I'm pretty sure all the rooms are trapped. Walk up here, alright, there's the next chest right there. Which, just go after it, and you get your hands on eye drops, which is effectively useless due to Essena. Literally existing, let alone the fact that mine's at level 2. Alright, same crap, different, uh, encounter. Nuke! Nuke them wraiths! Besides, if anything, this is actually good practice to get that damn spell to level 6. Yeah, may as well fire tick again. Maria's now running first all the time, so... Might as well let her give it a shot. Agility up for Furion. Alright, that's good. And that's actually it. I'm pretty sure there's one more chest down here. And same crap. I mean, is it really going to be any different? I don't think so. up for Layla is not bad, and oh uh, yeah, there was one more chest here. This contains clothes. Literal dumpster fire, it all is. Anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna walk back, and since it is only the first floor and this is expected, yeah, I'm just mainly trading stuff here, and getting rid of just the dumpster fire. Before we go on and actually deal with the better stuff. Oh great, blind four. Actually, I always forget about the guests doing this. I'm pretty sure the revenants don't do it. The guests, however, do. And they suck for that reason. That should finish things. 474 damage for the stuff. I mean, at least it's working out. Slowly but surely. Of course, all the gill helps, too. Power up. Works for me. I'll just walk back. And clean up inventory at this point. I 
Alright, I'll just focus solely on the gas here and fire away the wraiths. Blind four is just annoying. Yeah, sure, I could fire five and hit everybody and be done with it, but, um... Uh, if I remember right, I still can't kill the ghasts, and the revenants are still going to be a problem, because they have the most HP of the undead here. It's only going to get worse. Well, this kind of works out in favor, I guess. Fire, and blast away. That's a wrap there. It's nice to see her regularly hitting for 500 damage. Agility up, power down, soul up. How am I getting power downs from this crap? I'm just attacking. Alright, what's the, uh, alright, that's it. Uh, I'll just walk out that way. In which case, just head to Finn. Wait, why am I going, oh, wait, yeah, this is right because I need to restore MP. It'd be nice to have, since I'm trading magic anyway. I'll just go to the armor shop since it's like closest. And get rid of this junk. Don't need. Don't need. Don't need. Uh, you know what? I'll just take out one cottage and be done with it. Ruby Curious is not necessary. Mirror can stay. The knife's a dumpster fire. Everything else can. Kind of, you know what? I don't really do the Phoenix Downs here, so I am going to dump them too. The Threads can stay though, they actually are slow, which is good. Elder IQ and Hearts are fine, and that actually gives us enough inventory space for what I need. So I actually will grab the final chests inside Finn Castle, and then do the basement proper. Because there's five chests remaining here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cover them now. Yeah, I knew about them deliberately, I just didn't do it for inventory space reasons. So that's where the hole is to get to this chest, which contains a Werebuster. At this point, it's nothing special since it's a weaker staff. And the bonus to Werebeast, eh, doesn't really be much at this point. And then there's this one, which, wait a minute, I think it's up here, somewhere. There it is. Down here is the next chest, which contains the giant gloves, which I'm not going to use because of their absolutely ridiculous magic penalty. Penalty of 60 is just bonkers. And it only gets worse from there. As I've said, there's only two arm equipment items in the game that don't feature such severe magic penalties. Well, really three, but the leather gloves is just like a temporary placeholder. And those are the Protect Ring and the, uh... Power Armlet. Oh, I don't have to say it again. I thought I had to do it one more time. Yeah, Defense Ring and Power Armlet, both of which are... Defense Ring does no penalty whatsoever. The Power Armlet is a 2%, if I remember it right. Anyway, walk over here. Then go right here. There it is. Somehow this guy... Hmm. Okay. In case we have three chests containing the quartz, the gold armor, and a gold shield. Okay, so I gotta go with another, another gold shield, excuse me. I already have a diamond, so that's not really necessary here. That works for lightning. Maria's got an ice shield, which covers fire. That's fine. Guy has also an ice shield, which doesn't mean much here. And also a gold shield for poison. So the only spell I can't really resist is fire because of a... Uh, excuse me. No, it's not fire. It's ice that I can't resist because I don't have fire gear. Anyway, walk back here, I'll just sell some of the stuff that I don't need. But yeah, you can buy the gold shields at this point, so I will sell this stuff. 
since you can get it back. That's not a problem. But not bad, though. Heck, they're some of the best items uh, money can buy. And they're only outclassed by late game items. Alright, so I wasted 15 minutes just for one floor. But then again, I did clear out the rest of Finn Castle, so I guess there's a plus there. Let me at least get back into the basement and get things rolling with B2. And that will cover things as a result. But, in the grand scheme of things, this basement shouldn't be that bad. I just have a lot of inventory space, so I needed to deal with some stuff. And on the way down to the basement, in which case, let's just make our way to B2. Alright, expect the undead. Yep. I mean, the green soul encounter is literally a 1 in 64 chance, if I remember it right. Every other number is a freaking trash fire. Speaking of trash, let's burn it. That kind of worked out in favor. I got three targets for everybody else, but Maria, who's got Fire 5 on the back right, that's not going to be doing Jack. And Layla can kill one of these rights, which is good. And that's a wrap there. Power up for Guy without an intelligence down, which is what I want. Anyway, the stairs are over here. Step down here, and up one more encounter, and, well, that doesn't surprise me. Alright, so... I mean, what else am I gonna do? Okay, so we are at 17 minutes recording time. I should be able to cover B2, and we'll start next episode on B3. Uh, provided that there isn't a crap load of encounters, but yeah, it's just a bunch of dumpster fire undead here. Minus the revenants, but at this point they shouldn't be that scary either. Just fire five everything. Yeah, we moved too quick. But hey, we still get agility points, which is good. Alright, now we reach B2, things are blue, and the first chest is right there. In which case, it is a potion. Well, I mean, at least I can use it if I get hit. And it's not like it's anything special. In which case, you have this as your main encounter, which is the Parasite, Changer, and the Brain. Changers and Brains are the only enemies in the game that are weak to mind attacks. So you can actually put them to sleep easier, along with anything that's more in the mind elemental. One of the things that these guys can cast, though, in the Changers, is Swap 4, which will replace the HP and MP with their own. Which can work to your advantage regarding the uh, HP and MP boosts. So leave them be. The brains are a little more obnoxious, but they do also have fog, which will cause amnesia. Parasites are weak to ice, so I'll let Guy take care of that. Um, as for the brains, I'm just going to power up Curse, because Curse is a mind attack. Ah, that didn't work out. 
Damn it, Layla. You move too fast. And with that move, Guy is officially the most experienced spellcaster with his ice 6 being a smidgen higher than Furion's. How about them memes? Wait, no, 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 you're casting ice. This is your floor for that. There we go. Curse! I should have done that on the brain, actually. Because that would have been better overall, but then again, it is level 1, so it could be ineffective even with our weakness. One hit for nothing. Note that the swap... Four doesn't really, um, it's not that common of a ability, so don't worry about it. Uh, actually, one curse is fine. I'm pretty sure it can't do any better than that. Of course, that gets nuked for 45. Yeah, 21 minutes. Let's try to get this over with. Oh, magic power per guy. Awesome. There's the next chest, which contains a potion. Again. And the final one, that door's a trap, so avoid it. What we need to do is head all the way up here. And another brain, which means another good opportunity for... Curse. So curse. Ice 6. Lila can attack the uh, Furion's target. Actually, now I think about it, I think uh, Furion's Ice is really close to level up, so I may just do that. Fog 6. Oh, crap. Fortunately, it didn't do anything. Well, that's good. Since the curse already worked, I'm just gonna blast away. Not sure if I'll have the time to. Hey, curse level up. Good. Not sure if I. Anyway, I'm not sure if I'll. I am losing my speech here. Um, we're 22 and a half minutes already. I'm not sure if I'll have the time to actually finish off this floor, but I will at least get this final chest. Curse two. Bring it on. Ice six, and just attack a shaker. Yeah, changes don't have that much HP at all. Oh, hey, change four. Which didn't work. If it does work, then, well, GG Nuri. Um, just run attack. I can curse again, this time on the changer. It'll work out like that. Works for me! Yeah, 23 and a half minutes, I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh... Cover this one chest and then close the video. This is, uh, I'm pretty sure we don't have a whole lot left to do with, uh, the castle basement. There's only three more floors and there's nothing special. Agility and agility for the girls. Maiden's Kiss. That covers the Toad uh, status effect, which doesn't mean anything with Esna being powered up when it gets to that point. Anyway, I'm going to close this video here. Next episode, we'll try to continue the rest of the Castle Basement. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.